Okay, so now our life, we want to turn that up until we get a longer trail. Remember, this could be very slow. Let's, you know, try to try to deal with it because it's, you know, can be worth it in the end. All right, so now we have, yeah, and also, you know, you could uh, turn down your uh, particle rate per second. You don't have to leave it up that high. Turn it, you know, just to where, oops, that was way too much. Let's go back down to like 1,000 or so. Let me just type in 1,000, well, 1,500, we'll put 1,500. All right, so that should be okay to work with. Okay, so as you can see, we have a trail flowing, it's flowing off of him. Uh, you can change the velocity now if you want to maybe a little bit quicker if you want it a little bit quicker to flow off of him. What it'll do is make all the particles kind of just they'll just flow off faster, you know. So like if you were to go to a super fast speed. A negative speed, you want to go negative, obviously. You know, see, it's gonna, they're gonna flow kind of back. Wh which is, you know, and that's really far. And then you'd have to ch adjust your rotation, you know, to make it, make it line up right and all that. It's just, it's kind of a pain in the butt. So you gotta be careful on how you do that. So let's just change the velocity to back to minus five. Rotation zero. And hold one sec. Alright, I think it's recording. Okay, scratch the uh, my negative five. I don't know why I keep doing that. It's just, just leave it at set for five. You know, once you get your particles up, it just looks funny uh, setting it at a positive before you do everything. So yes, just put it to neg or five. And there, oh yeah, that's much better. Okay, this, this way the angle's right. Okay, as you can see, you know, they're flowing off in the direction that he was at. So it's, uh, positive 5, uh, everything left to 0, change your particle per second to wherever you need it. As I said, I got 1500. Then change your life per, per second, you know, fiddle with stuff until you get the length of the trail you want. The longer the trail, you know, the slower it's going to be, of course. Um, so let's just set it for 45 for now. Alright, now once you do that, um, you can you can go with a smaller particle size, even a two, make a finer finer particles flowing off of them. But I'm going to stick with three. And what you want to do is, at, after this, on the after the particle layer, um, you want to just go to effect. Make sure you have the right uh, the solid with the particles selected. Go to effect, and we're going to add a CC. Go to blur, CC vector blur to it, and just leave it set for natural, you know, because that seems to work okay. And just go ahead and uh, t you have to play with, kind of play with the settings until you get a, you know, a certain kind of, uh, I don't know, uh, I guess you just say a run trail look. So I'm going to go ahead and toy with these settings here, just to try to get something cool. As you can see, we're already getting something cool. It's kind of like a liquidy motion, a fluid. You want to call a fluid look to it. So I'm just going to go change a few of these things. Oh, we've got to change this to alpha because the particles are all on the alpha channel. Let's change my rotation. You can see I play with this stuff constantly just to, you know, get the certain look I'm looking for. Let's go up on this. Yeah, we'll change that up. I'm going to go with a amount, a higher amount. I'm going to change the rotation. we got to get the right rotation in there. Okay, now rich smoothness. Turn that back down. Softness, uh, maybe about there. Okay, now we're going to change this to an add layer. So I'm going to go down here, click toggle switches, change this to add just to see how it's looking so far. And it 
looks pretty cool. You know, so we have like this ghostly s trail kind of flowing off of them right now. You know, this is like a totally different kind of a trail. And hold on one sec. Okay, so what I'm going to do is try, let's see, I think, the, all right, negative, let's go on the negative side. I think that blows it up. Yeah, there we, that's what I want. Okay. All right, we want to blow the um, blur outward. So we're going to a negative amount for the amount. We'll turn the angle offset up until it just, I get that right look there. Let's go real high and see what happens. Kind of want to twist them up a little bit. Wait, like that. We're trying to get like a displacement look out of it. So, alright, leave it there. I got it set for 222. Bring up the ridge amount. Maybe down, I don't know. There, and bring down the softness. Alright, there we go. We're starting to get that look. Okay, so we're going to leave it at 11 for softness. Turn, Go back to ridge smoothness. Uh, maybe about there. Play my, my angles again. That might be it. Mount again. Just trying to get like, uh, you know, that, just the displacement kind of a look. Oh yeah, that's, that's looking pretty cool. Good. Okay, now, once you get that right, you know, you just, that's one of those things you just got to play with. Uh, I'm going to turn up my particles per second just to get some more, it's just to fill it in a little bit more. Give it at 31. 100 for my particles. You can just play with the uh, amount again. Just want a little bit more of a shinier look to it, plus a thicker. Like that. That's cool. That's cool.